Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran, and welcome back to another spare bedroom makeover video. I'm so excited to be sharing this series with you guys. I think this is video number four. Yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, I've been doing so many different projects in this space, and today is the project that I'm really excited, one of the projects I'm really excited about. I'm going to be adding some wall decor to this space. And I've been wanting to do this for so long. There are so many pieces that I want to use in the spare bedroom for decor. And I've just sort of been like anxiously waiting to be able to display everything. So I'm going to do a little bit of a haul at the beginning of this video because I need help putting a lot of this stuff on the wall. Um, and Sean is busy right now, so he can't help me. Um, but I'm just going to share a haul with you guys of everything that I found. A lot of this stuff has been in my home for several years. Some of these things you guys have seen before um, in haul videos. Just really excited to like take everything that I've been wanting to have like displayed and display it for you here. Um, and it sort of all is like in the same, like I don't know how to des describe it, like the same genre almost of like decor. Um, I feel like it all has like the same kind of vibe and um, I'm just really excited about it. So let me share with you now some of the pieces of wall decor that I have thrifted and I'm going to use in the spare bedroom makeover. And if you're enjoying this series and you have not already subscribed, please do also give this video a thumbs up. By giving the video a thumbs up, it lets me know that you want to see more of these kind of videos. So um, just give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to use in this room are several different styles of mirrors. And I actually have two sets of mirrors that I found quite a while ago. Um, this is one set, so beautiful. I love the gold. I love the different styles that it has. And I love like the different pattern on the side of the frame. Um, this was $7, I think, when I purchased it at the thrift store. And it's actually the brand Home Interiors. And I've always wanted to use this. Like this is how I purchased it at the thrift store. And I feel like I finally have a space that I want to display it in. So I have those three. Then I also have these three smaller mirrors. And these were $2 a piece. Um, I don't see a brand on them, but there are different styles, like different designs. There's like this shape and then this and this. But I think that adding these all together could look really cool. Um, let me show you the other ones with it. So these are like all of the different style mirrors that I kind of want to use in the same space, almost like a gallery wall. They are a slightly different shade of gold, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, and I have a wall in here that I think could be cool to have like a, like a mirrored gallery wall on. So then that's one thing. I also shared with you guys the fish picture. It's actually displayed in the room right now, but I'm going to move it somewhere else, I think, because I don't really, I just don't think it works great in the space that it's in. So I need to move that, but I'll insert a picture of it here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I love that fish. I think it's so cool. And I really like it because I feel like it's going to pick up like the green of the room and like the earth tones. And I also shared in a previous video that that fish, I believe on the back of the, the picture, it says, that everything in the the piece of art that you see was collected as trash in the Adirondack Mountains. So it was like like a project that somebody had to like go out and f like find all of the materials. I think I'm also going to display this clock. Um, it is the brand Bolova Electronic. I got it at a thrift store quite a, no, not a thrift store. I got it at a garage sale quite a while ago. Um, but I really like the, like just the style of the numbers. I think they're really pretty. And so I plan on using this. Maybe with the mirrors, I really don't know. It's gonna be a hard decision. Like I have so many ideas, but then in my head I'm like, I don't know, should I do it this way? Should I do it this way? Not sure. Now the next items I'm going to actually display a little bit differently so you can see them a little bit better because they're bigger items. Um, so let me turn the camera around and I will share those items with you now. All right, so here is another item that I am so excited to use. Hello. I'm going to be using this mirror in the spare bedroom as well. I found this at the thrift store a couple years ago and I think it's really cool. Um, I love the different materials in it. It looks like a sun, like, like the rays of the sun, so sort of like a sunrise or a sunset. And I think it's really pretty. It was $7 and I just love like the, the appearance of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Hi everyone. So um, I have Sean filming. Thank you, Sean, for filming this part of the video. Look what I found at the thrift store. Yes, I'm so excited about these. What would you even call these? Like bead, bead doorways? 
Well, I think this is more of like a beaded curtain situation. Yeah. And so it's so cool. And like, yes, I know there's one missing here. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm going to make it work. It off or something. Yeah. But I want to use this as some wall decor. And they were each $8, I think, or all together $8. So what I need to do is, unfortunately, they got tangled together a little bit. So I'm going to take a couple minutes with you guys and detangle them. I don't know anything about them. Can you see everything over there? They have Sean? walnuts on them. They do. You think we should be concerned about people having nut allergies? No. Okay. You know I'm being totally serious, right? I know you are. So we're just detangling these. I don't know. Oh, you wanna know what? I don't think they are floor to ceiling long. No. So maybe they, whoa. Can you hold that side a little bit? Maybe they could be a good, like I was thinking about maybe using them as a headboard. But what do you think? Would it be weird? I think it would look fine. I think so, because for some reason I thought they were a lot longer. Well, I think they're door length. <laughs> I don't even know Of course, know these that things are, are. This is kind of wide for a doorway, though. So I don't think I, that's what it was. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think it probably was for windows. So I'm just detangling them. This is the piece that I was really excited to show you guys. Um, We found it a few months ago, right, Sean? Yeah. So we knew we were going to redo this room. So. Mm -hmm. It gives me like a 70s kind of vibe. But I thought this could Which, be... If you look at the curtain. Yeah, definitely. Here. It's hard to see with the window. But... So I got one untangled. And then we'll just have to cut this one off, unfortunately. So how tall is it? Let's up? see. Because it's not like... Here, I'm going to stand up on the chair. I'm show you. To say. It's not thick. Like, no. It's not dense. It's not densely. Uh, it looks like there is a pattern on it. Sort of. So if we do it like that. Yeah, from a dist. Oh, yeah. You know what? But I think this actually might be a good length to go over the bed. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. No, actually, look, Sean. Look at where it's going to hit. It's going to be right behind the pillows. Oh, if you have it from the ceiling. Yeah. So, so do it. Um, what do you call it? Uh, instead of flush with the ceiling, do it flush with the window. Like the window and door frame. Like hold it up next to the door frame. How does that look? You tell me. I mean, I think it looks okay, and then you could put something above it. Like a picture or something. But where, though? Over here. Or we could use it over here, on this wall over here. That one? No, the one behind you. This one? <laughs> yeah. And then have it just be like an accent wall over there. What do you think? I thought like it would look good as like a back, like a headboard, but the pillows, even if you have it all the way up on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could look at it and see, right? Yeah, I don't, I think behind the bed will be fine. So it would be, it would hit right where their heads are, where people's heads are. What do we think about that? I mean, I think it's fine. Or, oh wait, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Like, we're going to put them up with command strips, like. But, well, I don't want it to fall on somebody's head. Like, if it did fall, you know what I mean? What about, what about over here? You know. Looks good. What? It makes it look like there should be another window. You know what I'm saying? It looks like we're trying to make it look like there's another window in here. I think it looks weird. Why? I just think it doesn't. I think it works as a headboard, but it doesn't work as that. I think it works as like a headboard look, but. I mean, we could take it and what if we took it like this? We can make it like a canopy. <laughs> no. <laughs> the room's not big enough for that. Okay, so what if we took it like this and then like did a swag kind of feature? So you want me to take this one and put it over here? You see? Yeah. Um. 
to the right. Or do we line it up? Well, no, it doesn't. It has to be lined up with the window frame. Because we're not going to put it over over top of the window frame. Right, but even where you are now, it's not that wouldn't happen anyway. No? No. And so I would go even a little more to the right. A little more to the right? Like there? Maybe even a little tiny more. Yeah, like right there. Yeah, right there. Right here? Yep. Is it even? Yep. Looks good. Good, right there? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a little gap in the, up, up on the right, up on your right. Yeah, that looks really cool. So I think those look really cool. Um, I didn't even realize that they had a, like a pattern on them when I saw them at the thrift store. So I think they look really cool. The one thing is that they're not quite centered on the bed. But what we think we're going to do is, I don't know if you can tell right over there, that's a nightstand that's just a little too big for the room and not really the style we want. So I think we're going to try to replace those and then just like slide the bed over a little bit um, so that it fits a little better in this space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take down this picture of the fish and I think I'm going to put this up instead. I know some of the comments people were saying before was that the fish was a little bit like high up on the wall, which I do agree with, but that's where there is like a nail in the wall already. So we'll just move him somewhere else. Okay, take that down. Since this is like a bit longer, I think this will work better. Perfect. I do need to clean it because it's a bit dusty. It looks a little like crooked, but I don't know why it would be leaning that way. Hmm. Maybe it's just like heavier on one side, or maybe I should put like a command strip or something underneath it to keep it in one spot. But I think it looks, I think it looks nice there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Put a little command strip on the back of it. All right, so I'm going to get some cleaner, like some glass cleaner and try to clean that up. A little frustrated right now. Unfortunately, this didn't work out the way I had hoped. I thought that I could have these on here by using command strips and that didn't work. I'm just grateful that no one was sleeping here when this happened. Um, so we have like little like metal hooks on these pieces that we actually took off. So we're gonna put those back on and then probably just use some nails to put them back up on the wall. I'm just thankful that it happened now and not when we had people over here you know, sleeping underneath this. So I'm grateful for that. So I think that's all I'm going to share for today. I feel bad like ending the video on like a not happy note. Um, but I don't know, I just like, I just became overwhelmed with everything in this space. And just, I became overwhelmed with like, just everything. Like I started working on one project and then I went to another project. I started cleaning out the closet in here and like, I just wait, I just made way more of a mess than I needed to right now. And my goal recently has been to try to simplify things and just, you know, work on smaller tasks at a time. But I, I just made a huge mess in here. So I'm a little frustrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be sharing more videos in this series. Just I'm done for today. Thank you guys for watching, being so supportive and listening. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.